Anytown New England is a week-long youth residential program dealing with leadership development. And what that means is we train leaders for the 21st century. My name is Melissa McGowan and I am the director of Anytown New England. It might look like a camp on the outside, but we don't do very typical camp-like things. We're really here to learn about how they can build better communities. We do that by exploring all the various social justice issues or as we like to call them, isms. So everything from racism to classism, sexism, anti-Semitism. We've got about six different terms, and the first one is prejudice. Before I came to any town, I did know that racism did go on, but I did not know that it was at the level that people have said it was. Stand next to the word you think you have the most experience with. I came to any town because I strongly dislike racism and I wanted to learn a way to deal with it without being angry and sad and frustrated. For a lot of people, unfortunately, the first thing they see is the color of someone's skin instead of um, anything else about them, the you know? Picture. I came to any town because as someone who's white and dominant in America, I wanted to learn about uh, the culture of people um, who are of another race. We have many different cultures such as black, white, Latino, Asian, rich, poor, middle class, religious wise. We have Buddhism, Judaism, Christian. Um, it's just a really big variety. What we do here is we do activities that make us think. We listen to each other a lot. I often get underestimated because I'm a female. Because I like to play football. I like to do a lot of things that you at any town. There's just been a chance for me to sit down and talk and get it all out there and just say, you know, I'm not racist against you, and I don't think you're racist against me. In a week of being here, I've grown closer to these people than I've grown to people that I, I've lived with for the past 10 years. We're going to be doing an exercise called the Privilege Line. The Privilege Line can be a very powerful exercise for a lot of people. What we do is we line the delegates up and we read off a series of questions and depending on what the question is, we'll ask them if it, if it applies to them to either take a step forward or take a step back. If your ancestors were forced against their wills to come to the USA, step back. If you attended an elementary school with good materials and facilities, step forward. If you ever had to go hungry, take a step back. If you grew up in a two-parent household, take a step forward. I would just like you guys to take a look where you're standing and to look around where you are in relation to others. It's hard for them to see that, you know, there are barriers in society that hinder them from having the same opportunity. It kind of like divides us up according to like our color. That's just what I saw. It kind of felt a little weird. At first, I wanted to cry real bad. But then I, I, I got really angry, you know? Why? Why, why, do, why? why do I cry? I felt bad and I felt guilty about being up front, but it's, in many ways, it's not a choice. It's like what you're born into. 45 minutes ago, I was outside stepping with some people that are back here. And I felt like the privileged one because I was the white girl. And it's not fair. And I'm never gonna forget this and who was down here and who was up here and where I was. At the end of the week, I hope that these kids walk away changed people with a new perspective so that they can be leaders in their communities. I want them to be empowered to make social change in their communities. You cannot be tolerant of racism. And since nobody else seems to be willing to do it, I think I have to step up. When I go home, I'm going to take back knowledge, awareness, and education. And whenever I hear somebody say a racial slur, I can be like, no, that's not right, and why? You know, usually people are like, no, that's not right. And it's like, what do you know? Well, I know now.